What's up guys, my name is Zelda Sweet, and we actually have to restart this whole via GM mode series because I lost the files. And what's even worse is that I lost the files, the recordings for the first three games of the Doug Glatt via Pro series. I don't know what I was thinking, I accidentally deleted them, so... Um... <laughs> yeah. I lost the footage off my first, not my first, but Doug Glass' first NHL goal. But yeah, so we're just going to edit our lines here. And I chose the New York Islanders again because I think I think they're a team where you have some potential in the future, but still you need to have somebody that goes in there and adds more younger players and stuff like that. So we're just edit editing the lines here. We're not going to change that much. We're going to, like last time, we're going to take away Nabokov and then put the Pietro in because we want to tank uh, at least that's the idea I don't know how it's gonna be cuz I mean I, I'm using the latest um, roster update and Parentos at 84 overall and Molson is 85 so I mean already our top six is a lot better uh, than my previous series and we're actually just gonna get the sim started here I'm not gonna play any games um, yeah here are the age lines but I'm not gonna play any games and yeah so I noticed that Anton Klementiev wasn't signed anymore, so I wanted to pick him up because he has B minus potential, and uh, you just get those GM skill points. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, we started off the season with four, three, three and two, which is pretty crap, but um, hopefully we'll be a bit better. Roughly 28 games into the season, we get a trade offer from the Blue Jackets. It's uh, Aaron Johnson and. Um, Curtis Sanford for our second round pick, I think. I'm not going to do that. I didn't think we were going to get this far. We actually made it to the trade deadline in the first episode because nothing really happened. And we're just going to put some players here on the board. We're going to put Nabokov up there because he has huge potential, a huge trade value. And I'm not going to be using him in the future because, man, he is he's great, but like... I'd rather actually go Di Pietro. I'm gonna try to unload his huge contract as well, and then Reasoner as well. Um, we have Bailey, but I have, I have a somewhat a plan for Bailey as well. He might be a part of the team. He might not be. I think the whole Bailey project is gonna end pretty soon on Long Island, and we're just gonna add somebody else. Then we're gonna put in a defenseman here, uh, Steve Stales. Yeah, let's take him because he's crap. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's just. Uh, finish this off and I think this is more important than putting players on the block because it doesn't really matter if you put them on the block sometimes you don't even get trade offers for them anyways we're gonna bump everything up so we have a very busy uh, trade deadline because I mean I'm I don't feel attached to anyone uh, other than Hamonic, Tavares, Parento, Molson, Grabner, Nielsen, Ukposo actually quite a few guys um, but I mean, I, I can, nobody's untouchable, maybe Tavares, that's the only untouchable on the team. And here we go, New Jersey offering, uh, wow, our second round pick in 2013, Jay Pandolfo for Corrente, Harold, and Carter. Uh, I'm not adding any potential there, so I'm not going to do that. Um, let's move on. No trade so far. Uh, Pittsburgh, another division rival here. Uh, no. No, that's, no. Um, let's move on. Uh, no transactions still. That's that's surprising. Um, Anaheim. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna do this. I'm giving up my uh, second round pick in 2013. But come on, I get to unload uh, Di Pietro for Lidman and then two HL guys and the four, a fourth round pick this year. Um, I think I'm gonna do it. Um, Lidman is 34. But yeah, I think the. You don't get many opportunities to unload Rick to Pietro's contract, so um, I think we're gonna do this. Oh, Dan Ellis. Uh, yeah, I could actually use him. Um, I mean, I already have Montoya and Nabokov at the moment, but I mean, it's worth it. It's it's worth it. I mean, oh, yeah, let's do it. All right. All right, Phoenix, we're also interested in, in Di Pietro. That's quite interesting. Uh, let's move on here. Yeah, so... And then the Canucks get Strawman for Sackassian and Ryan Parent. Uh, wow, Sackassian movie. What? And I've acquired another goalie? Uh, I'm not going to complain. They're idiots. That doesn't hurt me at all. So um, that's great. Um, a trade offer from the Rangers. Ooh, this is quite intriguing. 
Uh, but I'm giving two draft picks up there and Frost Nielsen, who is a beast, actually. Don't even look at his overall. It's also 82. Oh, and he's some. Uh, he has B minus and B minus for offense and. Uh, at, what's it called? Whatever it's called. Um, I'm actually. No, we're not going to do this. Washington offers Knubel and Schultz for Nielsen and a third round pick. Knubel is what, like 58 years old, and Schultz, I don't know, I don't want to do that. Maybe I can pick him up in the offseason, Schultz, but um, no, we're, ah, uh, no, let's not do it. So we, we've shipped out Rick Di Pietro right now, and we only have one hour left off. Uh, wow, that's a big trade. Um, it's just one hour left here in Philadelphia, are calling, ooh, oh, I'm, I'm probably going to do this, guys. Evgeny Nabokov for Ilya Brzgalov. Um, Nabokov's contract, he's my number one right now, Nabokov, but, I mean, it's Brzgalov. He's hilarious, and, I mean, his contract is manageable now that I moved out uh, Di Pietro, and I get a, I get back that second-round pick that I already lost. Uh, I traded away mine in the first hour of the trade deadline, so, yeah, we're going to do that. Great deal for me. Uh, Philadelphia, you are high. I don't know. Uh no, I don't want Bruno Gervais. Uh, we already gave up on him a while ago, so no, we're not going to do this trade. And that is the trade deadline, guys. Uh, we acquired Ilya Briskolov, and uh, who else did we acquire? Oh, uh, well. Oh, <laughs> Cabby Bulin is on waivers. Uh, no, we're not going to be picking up anyone here, I don't, I don't think. Um, so guys, thank you for your understanding. Thank you so much for subscribing if you have. Please comment, subscribe, like, and tell me what to do in my next, uh, if you have any ideas for series or anything. And I mean, write a comment, message me, tell me what to do, I'll improve. And I mean, I think our team after the deadline is a lot better. You have Briscolo there, 87 overall. and. We added Lidman as well. Uh, I think it was a pretty successful trade deadline. So thank you guys for so so much for watching, and I'll see you at yeah whatever.